Hey, what's going on guys? Shane here. Today we're talking about why fighters make strange noises when they fight. You've probably noticed boxers that make that noise when they throw punches, or karatekas that go and do that key up when they land a significant strike, or maybe it's Muay Thai fighters. Alright, it's actually very beneficial. We're going to talk about three reasons why you should be a noisy fighter. Let's take a look. All right, so the first benefit to making noises when you fight is it's going to help with your breathing. The muscles in your core, in your diaphragm, and in your mouth act as an apparatus to control the amount of oxygen that's being let out on your exhales. If you're not exhaling, you're probably not inhaling. And if you're not breathing, you're not going to last in a fight. All right, so for instance, it could be the noises when you throw punches, or it could be a little bit lower from the diaphragm when you throw kicks, or maybe it's just throwing, moving throughout the fight. All right, like I said, it's really just going to help control your breathing. Now, here's the challenge. Here's what I want you to do is try a minute of shadow boxing where you don't make a sound. In fact, imagine someone's trying to sleep in the room with you and you don't want to wake them up. So you're being real quiet. And even just doing that, right, is going to really tax you because you're trying to not make a lot of noise on your exhales, which means you're not getting any oxygen in. You're not able to supply the lungs or the muscles with the oxygen that it needs, and it's going to tax you out quick. Now do a minute where you're making a ton of noise. Do it to the point where you're annoying, all right? And you'll notice that at the end of that minute, you have a lot more energy at the end. All right, so that's benefit number one, breathing. All right, reason number two is because it's going to build your confidence and it's going to frustrate your opponent. If you've ever watched any of the sparring footage of Floyd Mayweather against the sparring partners, he clowns them the whole time and he'll make weird noises. No, 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 no. And it's like, what the hell is he doing? But what he's doing is he's frustrating or angering them or intimidating them. And the whole time his confidence is just going through the roof. He's getting better. He's gaining momentum as he does it. It's kind of like when you go against uh, your, your younger sibling or nephew or niece and you're playing a, a sports game with them. You score a ball on them and you're like, ah, you stink. You stink. I'm the best. I'm the best. What's up? What's up? Well, you're not going to start beating up your niece like that. But the point is, I'm trying to show how mocking words become mocking sounds become just hums of the mouth because I don't want to continue talking throughout a fight because if I get caught on the chin and my mouth's open, I got a broken jaw and I'm probably laid out. But if I keep my chin tucked, if I keep my jaw clenched, now I can hum, I can continue to breathe. <laughs> All right, so give it a try. Feel your confidence increase while frustrating your opponent. All right, and reason number three is because of timing and rhythm. Now, the Thais have mastered this. If you've ever watched a padwork session or a sparring session in Thailand, both fighters are constantly making noises throughout the round. I like to think of it as creating sounds for my movements, kind of like the conductor leading the orchestra, right? So if I'm moving around with someone, All right, so even right there, I used it to set up a feint or faint and then follow up with an attack. So what I did was, when I threw the roundhouse kick, I said, shoo-wee. Then I made that same noise, but faked the kick. Shoo-wee. And then followed up with a Superman cross into a knee. All right, so again, it's kind of like Pavlov's dog. They hear the sound, they expect something from it. All right, so you can use that to trick them up. And another thing is, you'll hear it used in the crowd, you hear it from cornermen, and what they're trying to do is convince the judges that was a scored point, right? Let's say I land a body kick, a high score in Muay Thai. In case the judge missed it, where they were in an angle where they couldn't see it, the cornermen on that team wants them to know, ooh wee, that was a scored point. Or the people in the crowd that are betting, ooh wee, he scored, points to him. All right, so sometimes even the fighter themselves will do it, right? Ooh wee, now it's frustrating them. Right, they get that point and it helps with the rhythm and the timing. All right, guys, there you have it. So these are the reasons why fighters make these noises when they fight. Like I said, it's going to feel awkward when you first start training, but it's really going to help you level up. Take my wife, for instance. Uh, she was having trouble with her breathing when she first started training, but when we went out to Evolve MMA in Singapore, 
when you're doing three hours of intense Muay Thai, you got to dig deep and hum or grunt your way through a workout. And she said once she did, she felt a lot more confident in her technique. She found her rhythm and she felt a lot more energetic. So give it a try. And once you find your favorite sound, I want you to comment down below and tell me what it is. Mine's definitely that. It's my favorite one. I use it all the time. All right, guys, until next time, be sure to subscribe to get the fight tips before your opponent does. I'm Shane with Fight Tips for the underdogs.